Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Smart Shop mod, which adds the shops up top and this uh, Wi Fi storage, which can be used to hold extra items for the shops. So let's start with the craft recipes. The shop itself is made with some locked chests, signs, and a torch. And the extra storage here is a couple locked chests, meese crystal fragments, steel, and copper ingots. So we will start with this guy right here. So I already have this filled up with things I'm selling and what I'm charging. So you can see I'm selling an apple, a book, a loaf of bread, and an apple tree sapling. Apple tree sapling I want 10 gold lumps for and everything else I want 1 gold lump for. And you'll see down in this area here I have the inventory of the shop. So I have one of each of those items currently in inventory. And to see the interface that a customer would see I can just click the customer button right here and then this shows me what a player who comes to buy something from my shop would see when they right click on it so then to purchase something I just click on the the lump down here the uh, the payment button and the item is added to my inventory and if you were paying close attention you might remember that I only had one of each of these items in the shop and I have purchased more than that and suddenly, whoa, I have a whole bunch of items in the inventory. How does this work? Well, so there's this refill button right here, which is spelt wrong, by the way. Um, but there's a refill button, and you can click that. And then you can open this storage, which, wow, I have a lot of apples and bread and saplings and stuff in here. And that gives me the name of the, the thing. We can just leave that all as is. Uh, just escape close that or you click the save button and when you're so technically what you would want to do preferably whatever is fill this all up with your inventory and then once everything in here is sold out it would start pulling stuff from this extra storage chest which could be placed someplace else um, and you have an option by clicking the send button as you may notice here none of the gold I was using is inside of the storage here all of the gold I spent is in here because I clicked on the send button. So it'll send the payments to this chest. And then the refill button here uh, just has me reclick on that. I don't know what this all button does. Sell your stock and give line, sell your stock only. I don't know what the line is, but okay. And then we can, oh, we can't because we don't have enough gold. I can buy some more out, uh, more bread, and that's it. I can just grab the gold back out of here, so that's no big deal. And then uh, we have the same thing here. So if I want to make this, I don't know if I can. The owner stock is at an end. Oh yes. So we need to click refill and click on this and close that, and then customer, and it will refill this from the inventory from that chest and here we now have it is collecting the gold in this shop rather than putting it over into this storage unit here is there really a huge advantage in that I mean sure because you could have this shop someplace and then like on the outside of a wall have your storage and have all of your stuff going into storage and then you just go there and you grab all your payments and you put everything you're selling in there and you don't have to manually go through each one of your shops because as you can see here I have five shops you can have more and you can connect them all to the same storage here so I could have all of my storages and I think let me try this out I should have tried this out beforehand. Oh, you know what? I had to revoke give because then it uh, does things unlimited. Um, grant me give. Not five. Not five. Give. All right. Let's. I think this is doable. We'll just pop that there and then. All right. All right. All right. So we want this to send payments to storage. To this storage and we want it to refill from this storage and then uh, we're gonna just throw the, 
throw the stone in here. Uh, I'll put one stone in there. I don't know if you have to have a stone in there, but whatever. All right, so now we will click as the customer and we will buy some stone. Buying a bunch of stone, buying a bunch of stone. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we look at this. We have some stone left. There is no gold in here. We go over here. There's no stone in there. We go over here. Our gold is in here. So you can make it so all of your payments go to one chest and everything you're selling goes to another, which is actually super handy because, uh, you know, if you're selling things you actually just want to get rid of, you can just dump them on the chest and, you know, whatever. And then if you're selling them for things you actually want and need, there's another, another chest. I keep calling it a chest, another storage that you can go to and grab the stuff that you're actually trying to buy or trying to, I mean, somewhat you're kind of trying to buy it, the stuff that you want people to pay you. I mean, technically, I'm buying gold lumps from people and paying them this, and they're buying these and paying me these. Like, that's kind of how a barter works. You're both buying from the other person when you trade, sort of-ish, I think. Um, and, and that's it. They do light up in the dark. So that's cool, but it's not dark right now, so I, I can't really show that. But this is going to wrap it up. So thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another mod review, and I will see you then.